Good evening, Internet. Welcome to my room. My name is Simo, and uh, I'm excited and anxious and uh, happy happy to uh, inform you uh, about something really cool that's going on in my life. Uh, I am designing and uh, receiving a tattoo, uh, an Edgar Allan Poe sleeve, uh, to be exact. Uh, it's a project that I've been working on for probably two years now, so it's really exciting that it's finally coming to fruition. Uh, the word fruition, for people who don't know, um, well, you'll have to look it up. I'm not even sure what that means. But in any event, um, I'm really excited because uh, I finally got some work done on this uh, Edgar Allan Poe sleeve, and uh, I want to share it all with you. And I also want to keep uh, a record and documentation of what my arm looked like before I had uh, ink all over it. So that's partly for me, partly for you. Uh, hopefully you guys can get something cool out of it. If not, uh, then don't. Then don't. Cool. So anyway, um, first things first, uh, the man of the hour is Edgar Allan Poe. So let's start with him. This is the first part of the sleeve that I got done. As you can see, he's a little bit lotiony right now. I promise. He's okay though. Um, I got this tattoo in particular done, I guess it's been a couple months ago now. Um, I got it during the summer of 2011. Uh, it is currently February of 2012. Um, the portrait itself turned out really, really great. Um, I love the detail. The eyes are, as you can see, incredibly creepy, which I think is only fitting for Edgar. Um, one of my other favorite parts about this is the, uh, the frame here. Um, I had to pick out a frame. Um, I decided to go with something that I thought would look like it was hanging in a haunted house. So... Uh, it's just a really, really creepy portrait. Uh, I based it off of the old daguerreotypes that they used to do um, back in the day. So uh, that is what it is. It turned out really great. I've seen some really horrible uh, portraits of Edgar online, and I was really hesitant at first, especially when somebody's uh, famous. you, you got to have an image that looks just like the person, or else you are kind of out of luck from the start. So I fortunately found an artist, Jim White, who did a great job on this. He was at House of Madness in Hampstead, Maryland. Uh, I believe he's since moved on to bigger and other things, but um, yeah, this is what turned out from that. It turned out really well, and um, it was a good cap for the top part of my arm. I have plans to do some stuff uh, on the shoulder and on the front part of the shoulder as well, so um, that is what it is. The next part that I got, this was just recently, um, this was within the past two or three days, um, I got Virginia Clem Poe who was Edgar Allan Poe's wife. Uh, bonus question, if you knew that she was also his cousin and that she was also 13, uh, you get a bonus for being a real weird person. Uh, but both of those are true. Um, so anyway, this is Virginia Clem Poe. Um, really, really cool detail work. Uh, it's based off of a picture by um, April Murphy. Uh, she's a local artist here in Westminster, Maryland. She did a fantastic job drawing this, um, and then I also worked with my artist for this piece, uh, who is J.D. Grimm. Uh, he works at Baltimore Street Tattoos in Westminster, Maryland as well. Um, he did a fantastic job working with me to modify this piece so that it really worked out for the sleeve as well as, um, as a tattoo. You know, it, it just worked out all around. So um, there's really, really cool details. It goes all the way from the wood grain pieces. Um, down to this beautiful flower here that goes around the back. Of course, her face just is uh, very, very pretty. Um, the hair is one of my favorite details of this whole piece. It kind of has this crazy feeling of just kind of the wind whipping up through it. And then on this side over here, we have a, a really eerie kind of like candle glow that we're going to do some lighting effects with. So that is that part of it. Um, as you know, one of Poe's famous stories revolves around a black cat. So we needed a really creepy, eerie black cat, which I think we succeeded in. Uh, it's pretty bad looking Mama Jamma that's on here. Um, he's got one eye that's taken out, as well as the gallows down here on his chest. So his name is Pluto. He's a pretty crazy kitty. And um, as you can tell, not to do spoilers on the story, you should probably read all this stuff before you actually uh, uh, get the answers off of Wikipedia or 
spark notes or something like that. But read the stories. It's a pretty creepy, gruesome tale. Um, but yeah, that's what I have right now. There's a lot of imagery and a lot of things going on with my sleeve. Uh, I'm really excited to hopefully progress from there. Um, I have a lot of different things planned. There's a possibility that I might be going to the Philadelphia uh, Tattoo Convention and getting some work done there. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I have other stories to keep in mind. Um, Murders in the Rue Morgue, The Gold Bug, uh, The Telltale Heart. Um, of course, The Raven will be one of the things that I hope to look into um, getting a piece done on. And um, there'll, there'll be more to come as well. So I have a lot of really cool ideas. I've been working with my tattoo artist. Um, again, he is J.D. Grimm. Um, you can check him out. He's at Baltimore Street Tattoos in Westminster, Maryland. Um, also check out April Murphy. She does really, really good work. She's who I based the, um, the female portrait off of. And Jim White did the actual Poe tattoo up top. So um, all really, really great local artists. And um, hopefully we can get out and support them. So check back for some updates in the near future uh, or not. Uh, the choice is yours, as they say. So have a fantastic evening, internets, and I will uh, catch you on the flip side. Good night.